I think you have summarized it quite well. The middle class income group is facing a lot of these additional costs these days. I think both on the direct tax side and on the indirect tax side, we need to look into how benefits could flow to them. Uh, rightly, uh, so what you have put uh, is that there are additional costs. Uh, these are additional internet costs, consumption of electricity at home, certain pantry related expenses which are being incurred at home. So I think there is a need to reconsider the standard deduction or increase that uh, by way of uh, those salaried class of people who are working from home because their cost of operating from home has increased. And I am not counting about the additional space which they are using today, either for storage of files and so on and so forth. So rightly, that deduction must be looked into, and we hope uh, that uh, the finance minister will look into that aspect on a very, very serious note. But I think talking about other things, if we talk about the basic exemption, the basic exemption is for 5 lakh rupees uh, to the extent of 5 lakh rupees. But the moment your income increases 5 lakh rupees, uh, then the exemption is only to the extent of 2 lakh 50,000 rupees. So I think the middle class income group will be looking for a blanket exemption till the level of 5 lakh rupees so that there is no tax till the amount of 5 lakh rupees. So for those middle class income group people who would fall, let's say, to 6 lakh rupees, if the blanket exemption comes till 5 lakh rupees, there will be no tax on that. And that will be very, very welcome uh, move by the government in such a COVID situation. Now, also, we have seen in the past that the corporate tax rates have decreased have stabilized. But if we see a lot of these MSMEs and mid-sized players which work, they work on a partnership model or an LLP model, which is still taxed at a very high rate of 30 percent. So if a partnership firm even earns one lakh rupee, they will have to shell out 30 percent tax on that. So there must be some exemption limit or the basic threshold exemption limit, even for those entities which are operating as an LLP or as partnership firm. That becomes a question mark that needs to be seen that how this benefit could flow. I think another aspect is with respect to certain deductions which are given to the professionals, these 50 percent deductions which are given to lawyers, chartered accountants and other professions so that you could claim deduction to the extent of 50 percent of your income without claiming the benefit of expenditure or booking expenses or depreciation. I think that limit of 50 lakh rupees, uh, it is hoped that that limit is relooked now. Uh, that limit is 50 lakh rupees for a long time now. That limit certainly has to increase. Certainly, if we see these limits to the limits which have been given to traders, where that limit is 10 crore rupees, so I and where most of these transactions are digital transactions. So I think from that perspective, um, middle class income group expects that change to happen, would expect that deductions for professionals under Section 44 ADA is increased from 50 lakh rupees to a, to a higher amount. Now, if we move now towards the GST side of it, we have seen that the limit for threshold exemption is just 20 lakh rupees there from 2017. So I think certainly the government must look into increasing that threshold limit for registration and for threshold exemption. The limit must be in the range of 40 lakhs to 50 lakhs, because if you see 20 lakh rupees, the 20 lakh rupees per day means only 5,500 rupees a day and which limit is uh, very, very low as we speak. So I think that's what needs to be looked. Uh, we need to look both uh, the exemption limit which right. must be raised. And last, last but not the least, there are certain arbitrary provisions when you order food from a dhaba, which have an e-commerce operator. Or for that matter, if I use an Uber app to book an auto rickshaw, these are important services which are being procured by middle class. And if you want to digitalize our economy, if you want to digitalize the way we perform and do businesses, I think these exemptions must be there because if I order food from an online delivery platform, then it becomes taxable. Whereas if I order food from this Dhaba directly, it is not taxable. Similarly, when it comes to auto rickshaw, when I book it through an Uber app, it becomes taxable. And if I go down my building and take uh, an hmm. auto, it is not taxable. So all of this is impacting to a very large extent the middle class right. income group. Right. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely, Abhishek. You've pointed out a lot of important aspects, and uh, like we know, every year the expectations are uh, especially high. Uh, you know, when it comes to the budget, but you know, realistically, this time round, uh, what do you think can actually come in? What is realistically possible given the uh, the pandemic and what uh, you know the amount of room that the finance minister actually has uh, to make all of these uh, you know exemptions and ease the burden on the taxpayers? Uh, what is your view? See, I think the finance ministers in last eight years have been very pragmatic. Let me be very frank. Uh, there needs to be a proper balance between the revenue collection and the benefits which have to go to these uh, sectors. Uh, I think pragmatically, it will be important to give the benefit to that class of salaried income group people, which reduces the compliance burden and which reduces the impact of tax in such a way so that the larger benefit is going to them. And the, that happens, then it will be a win-win situation for all. So, for example, if you see the GST threat lakh rupees, if you increase that limit from 20 lakhs to 40 lakh rupees, a large number of GST taxpayers will go out of uh, the compliance burden and the tax collection will not go for a toss because they contribute significantly less in terms of uh, the tax contribution by way of GST uh, payments. Similarly, if you look the income bracket of 5 lakh rupees to 7.5 lakh rupees, that benefit in the larger interest of things, the amount of marginal tax difference will be substantial for them and they will have a more borrowing capacity. And I think the finance minister and her office would look into those numbers very carefully so I personally feel that there will be some tweaking with respect to the basic threshold limits. Uh, that number will increase because especially uh, if you are earning between 5 lakhs to 7 lakh rupees, you need, you deserve a much more tax exemption benefit. So I think those right. numbers are being worked right. today and that right. will come certainly in this budget. Right. All right, uh, Abhishek, uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, with your uh, perspective. Well, uh, that's as far as the expectations of uh, the middle class, the taxpayers, uh, all of that is concerned.